Hello everyone, this is Labor Supply Chapter 2, Part 7. In this part, we will learn about how changes in wage will affect the choices of the labor. We talked about in previous parts how a change in non-labor income affected leisure, uh, <laughs> leisure consumption and hours of work decision again once you decide on leisure hours of work is determined automatically and consumption as well also change in w increase or decrease on the wages will have impact on your leisure consumption and hours of work this is supposed to be an h i'm sorry it's a mess so a couple of things before we continue, we'll talk about income effect and substitution effect of a wage rate change. So we feel both of these effects at the same time. Again, folks, it's great to have you here. You are, I, hopefully you're learning a lot. And one more thing, please subscribe to this channel so that you'll be updated on instructional videos. If you're majoring in economics, taking econ class or simply you want to earn a better grade in your classes. Um, this is a labor economics class. Subscribe and also make sure to watch the whole um, playlist of videos to make sure that you are covering all the topics. All right, so let's get started. Changes in wage rate, right? Let's say an increase in wages. So wages going up. Your wage rate went up. At the same time, there are two things happening at the same time. Income effect and substitution effect of a wage increase. So remember when we went up non-labor income, this was a pure income effect. It's different than pure income effect. Income effect of a wage increase, wage rate is like the price of leisure, right? So it's going to have impact uh, on your behavior. Income effect says that if wages go up, workers feel richer now even if hours of work stays the same you have more money so you're working the same hours wage rate went up you have more money per hour okay and once you feel richer income effect says that consume more of all normal goods so consumption Assuming that leisure is normal good too, you're going to increase your leisure and consumption at the same time. As a result, ours is going to go down. This is the income effect. At the same time, we also have the substitution effect happening. Substitution effect is all about relative prices. Substitution effect ba is based on the idea that you should be running away, substitute away from a good that is more relatively more expensive. So I have consumption goods and I have leisure. You need to run away from more expensive good. You need to consume more of the cheaper good. Okay, that's the idea. Income effect, what was it? You feel richer, you consume more of all normal goods. Substitution effect, the price of something goes up, you run away, substitute away from that good to consume more of the other one that is cheaper, relatively cheaper. Okay, if wage rate goes up, wage rate is the price of leisure. So leisure is more expensive. So every hour you don't work, you take leisure, you are giving up that wage rate. Your wage rate goes up from $15 to $40. Every hour you don't work, you're giving up $25. Okay, so leisure relatively got more expensive. So Substitution effect says that wage rate went up, opportunity cost of leisure, aka not working, is more expensive. Therefore, consume more consumption goods and consume less leisure. So, okay, so according to, right, according to income effect, it says consume more consumption goods. Substitution effect also says consume more consumption goods. Great. So wages go up, you're going to consume more consumption goods. But what happens to leisure depends on whether income effect or substitution effect dominates. If income effect dominates, you're going to consume more leisure. So both of them are acting at the same time. But income effect dominates means this is pulling up. Your leisure is stronger. So hours of work is going to go down. If substitution effect dominates, on the other hand, 
right? Income effect pulls the leisure up. Substitution effect pulls it down at a stronger pace. So your leisure is going to go down and your hours will go up. So this is how income and substitution effects work when wage rate goes up. Okay, wage rate goes up to summarize everything. Both income and substitution effects will say, oh, consume more consumption goods. Consumption goes up. How about leisure or hours of work? It depends. If income effect dominates the substitution effect, then leisure goes up, hours of work will go down. If substitution effect dominates the income effect, then leisure is going to go up right here. Hours of work, uh, leisure is going to go down. I apologize. And hours of work is going to go up. Okay. So again, if substitution effect dominates the income effect, leisure goes down. This one dominates. Hours of work go up. So let's conduct the analysis. I'm actually posting the Word file for this or it's a PowerPoint slide to be honest. Conduct the analysis for wage decrease. Have this thing printed out. I have it here. And fill it out. And you can pause the video and fill this out on a paper or a paper you printed out. And then check the answer. You can pause it now. Okay, I think we're back. So let's conduct the analysis for a wage decrease. Wage rate is going down. So income effect, wage went down. Income effect says that of wage decrease says that workers feel richer or poorer. Wage went down. So you feel poorer now. My let's say my wage rate was 15. Now it is seven dollars. I feel poorer. Even if number of hours worked is the same, have you feel you feel okay, I have less money. Not feel, but it is less money. So you're going to feel richer or poorer, poorer, poorer. Consume, you're going to consume less of all the normal goods. So consumption is going to go down. Leisure is also going to go down. Why did this happen? Because you felt poorer when you feel poor. You consume less of everything. Substitution effect of a wage decrease. Idea is to run away, substitute away from the good that got more expensive. Wages went down. Leisure got cheaper. Okay, so this is great. Wages went down. Leisure got cheaper. Okay, so you need to consume more of the cheaper good. Consume less of the more expensive good. Opportunity cost of leisure is smaller or bigger? Smaller. So, you know what? My wages are so low. I might as well just take it easy. So, consumption will go down, right? Because consumption is more expensive relative to leisure. Price of food didn't change. But leisure is cheaper now. And you're going to increase your leisure. Okay? So, leisure goes down. Hours go up. Why? Because they add up to total time. Leisure goes up, hours go down. Okay? So wages go down. Both income and substitution effects say, income effect says consume less of consumption goods. Okay. So then consume consumption will go down. How about leisure and hours of work? If income effect dominates, look, if income effect dominates, income effect says that leisure is going to go down. Substitution effect at the same time is telling you leisure is going to go up. If income effect dominates, leisure is going to go down. Hours are going to go up, you know, because they add, add up to a total number. If substitution effect dominates, substitution effect says that leisure is going to go up. Hours are going to go down. Income effect is trying to increase the leisure, but it doesn't matter. Substitution dominates, so leisure is going to go up. Hours are going to go down. So it's great to have this analysis. Now we can work on this using graphs. Increase in wages, more leisure at higher wage rate, income effect dominating substitution effect. Okay, so we're working on this case. Wages go up. Income effect dominating the substitution effect. Alright, I'll see you in next part where we 
work that on that graphically. 